Doctors leading the pandemic response in Cincinnati expect COVID-19 hospitalizations to reach a record high in January, especially when it comes to children. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco is live outside the region's largest pediatric hospital, Cincinnati Children's. Courtney, what are you learning tonight? Well, Whitney, here's the concern. Doctors in states that are dealing with a large number of Omicron cases are also noticing a striking number of children hospitalizations and local doctors say that could start happening here by the end of January. Today I met a father whose two year old just got out of the hospital after testing positive for COVID-19 here. The toddler's fever got so high he had a seizure yesterday and an ambulance had to rush him to Cincinnati Children's. Even though Jack's too young to be vaccinated, we, we did not expect it would just hit him the way it did. He's never gotten sick like that before. Doctors say parents should not get lenient on the masks yet because the vaccine can make your symptoms mild. But those too young, like Jack, are so vulnerable right now while caseload is increasing. Projections show by the end of January, 90% of cases could be the Omicron variant, and that tends to settle in the upper respiratory tract. And doctors say children are more susceptible to that. Reporting live in Avondale, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.